The meeting between President Muhammad Buhari and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry was held behind closed doors. Briefing newsmen later, John Kerry described Nigeria as an extraordinary important country sharing significant interests with the United States. We had pledged with the President's meeting yesterday to work very closely on economic development, on the economy, on counterterrorism, on regional issues, but very importantly also uh, to join together in an effort uh, to do a better job of taking on Boko Haram. He appreciated President Buhari's genuine commitment to fighting corruption, which he described as the den of Nigerians' development as well as fighting Boko Haram, taking advantage of his military background. So we have a ready and willing partner and we look forward to developing our counterterrorism and our counter Boko Haram plans even as we also work on energy development, on education, health and other issues uh, within the country. For President Buhari, Nigeria cannot thank the United States enough for its support towards the peaceful and transparent elections that brought the ruling APC to power despite all odds. The United States um, uh, message sent to the previous administration was clean and clear that uh, the United States would not accept anything extra constitutional that prepared the minds of Nigerians to back us and uh, to arrive where we are today. We thank God, we thank the United States, we thank technology for the introduction of uh, permanent voter cards and reader cards made so much difference from previous elections. Meanwhile, President Buhari has granted audience to World Bank officials the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, as well as the World Health Organization. The World Bank has unfolded a $2.1 billion package towards rebuilding the badly devastated Northeast. And indeed, it has been a red carpet reception since President Buhari came. And Nigerians should not make any mistake. This is the best moment for us to engage the United States, and we must not miss it. The World Health Organization, on its part, will invest $300 million on immunization against malaria in Nigeria, while the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation will collaborate with Dangote Foundation towards maintaining Nigerians' zero polio cases of the past one year. Adesua Lato reporting.